Hi everyone, Creativation 2018 just ended. What is Creativation? Well, that is a big show that features a lot of the big companies such as Ranger, um, Becky Higgins with Project Life, Crate Paper, Maggie Holmes was there, Heidi Swap, a lot of the big scrapbook industry people as well as the tool industry like Ranger and We Are Memory Keepers they release a lot of their products for the upcoming year at this show. So I wanted to feature some of my favorites. I've been following the releases on the various companies' blogs, um, their Facebook Live videos, and then a lot of them were also streaming directly from Creativation this year. So I'm gonna highlight some of those favorite products. Now, if there's some that stood out to you, please comment and link them below because I'm sure I've missed something. The ones that I'm featuring as my favorites are the ones that I would enjoy using in a traveler's notebook or a bullet journal this year. Um, those are my main focus for this year. So let me know what your focus is and I look forward to your comments below. Now let's check out some of those favorite things. One big change is that Tim Holtz products are changing from red and black to black and gray. So those red handled scissors that we've been so used to seeing all these years, those will be phased out little by little this year. All of his tools are now black and gray, and he also released a new glass media mat, a new paper trimmer guillotine style, and a smaller stamp platform. Also from Ranger is Dina Wakely, where she had the smaller journal, the 7x10 last year, and now it's a 10x14. So she has two sizes available with those mixed media, along with a new set of scribble sticks. These are her new colors. She featured cheddar and olive a lot in this particular show, along with the peacock and ocean. They're more subtle, more earthy, really pretty colors. She's also releasing them, them in matching paint, and she made the announcement that the tubes of paint are going away. They'll all be sold in these bottles right here. Dina Wakely also released the Ultra Thick Gel Medium. This makes it so much easier to add elements to those canvas pages, watercolor pages, and burlap that are in her media journal. It dries completely clear and you can add very thick elements to your journal. She's also adding some collage papers to her collection, printed with patterns as well as words. But what's also nice is she's releasing a blank set. So 10 sheets of blank paper that you can print out on your own printer and then be able to add them to your journal as well. Now this is my most favorite item that's been released this year and that is Ranger has released gel printing plates. In particular, I like the set on the right. It's the perfect size for traveler's notebooks. It has three different shapes and three different sizes. I've been looking at gel plates for jelly plates for about two years now, but could never find the right fit. But these are just the right size for these journals, and they're also releasing a storage tin that holds that set perfectly. So that one I'm very excited about. Now, Diane Ravely, Ravely, she has released a line called Dialogue and that goes along in the Traveler's Notebook family. So she has two covers, one here in the red and the other one in the turquoise with the bird. For those, she's released the standard size Traveler's Notebook. What's really unique about her collection is for one, she has one that is all black. I don't think I've ever seen a traveler's notebook with black pages. So that'll be really fun to use with your white gel pens and those metallics. She's also released some really fun, colorful um, folders to go inside of those traveler's notebooks. And again, these are the standard size. Her traveler's notebooks are pretty thick. So she's also released some elastic bands. And at the show, she demoed how you can fit six of her art journals into one of those covers along with these um, elastic bands. Heidi Swap also added a traveler's notebook to her line this year. It's this iridescent pinkish pearly really pretty shiny uh, traveler's notebook. The last item that really caught my eye is by We Are Memory Keepers. It's their new Label It. It's like those Dymo labelers that we've used for years but with them they came out with two colors light pink and light blue 
It'll be in four different font wheels and two different sizes of tapes. They'll have a thick and they'll have a thin and these go along with their book plates. So when and where can we buy these amazing products? Well, some of them are starting to be released in February, others March through May. So you'll wanna keep an eye out at your local stores. But my preference, 80% of the craft supplies that I purchase, I get from blitzy.com. So I'll link my affiliate link below and I'm going to explain why. When they release products, they usually release them at a discounted price. Also, if you purchase $50 or more, they have free shipping. They also ship international. So that's always been my go-to place for the newest releases because they don't just release one or two items. For example, the Dina Wakely collection, say she has um, several paints that she released. At my light, local scrapbook store, they may only carry three or four colors. But on Blitzy, I can order the entire product line. Some of the stores may only carry three or four of those types of journals that were released in the Traveler's Notebooks, but Blitzy will carry the entire line. So you're able to see everything in one place, you're able to order it in one place, and usually at that point you're able to get free shipping as well. So that's why I personally look for um, the releases on Blitzy. I'll put my affiliate link below so that you can check them out. Um, I also subscribe to their blog and their Facebook page because when they're about to release a product like that, they feature it all over the place and they even do Facebook Live videos demonstrating those products. So that's a quick summary of some of my favorite things that I saw featured. Um, of course, like I said before, the most favorite that I'm looking forward to is the jelly plates. Um, they're just the right size. It has the taller rectangle that would fit in the standard size a traveler's notebook. The smaller one will fit in my A6 that I'm working in this year. And of course, the small round one fits in practically anything. And then it comes in a storage case, especially where I live. We get a lot of um, ash in the air and so I don't want that to stick onto my jelly plates. So that's a great storage tin that Ranger has come up with as well. A lot of these releases have been for Traveler's Notebooks this year as well. So I'm really looking forward to that and if I missed anything that you enjoyed, please comment below. I look forward to looking at those products and seeing what you're looking forward to using this year. If you never want to miss a post from me this year, please uh, check out my blog link below. Subscribe to my blog and there on Fridays you'll receive a newsletter with a password uh, for free printables for the traveler's notebooks that I'm making this year, as well as some of the hand lettering that I'm working on. So thank you so much for watching today and I'll see you next time.